welcome to the UMS Performance Playground. My name is Joseph Richards and I'm going to tell you all about the violin. I am a fifth grade orchestra teacher in the Troy School District here in Southeast Michigan, and I've been teaching for four years. When I was eight years old, my dad introduced me to the violin, and then I took it really seriously starting in the fifth grade in my orchestra class. Sometimes I play classical things like Bach. Other times I will play the blues. Sometimes I'll play jazz. Sometimes I'll play bluegrass. It's all depending on how I really feel that day and what kind of music I'd like to um, express and play. Some of my favorite violinists are Itzhak Perlman, Isaac Stern, Hilary Hahn, and I need to tell you about Lindsay Sterling. She is a violinist, of course, and she does all sorts of styles like classical and pop and rock and electronic. The best part is she writes her own music and she dances while she plays. It is really amazing to see. I'm going to tell you a few things that you really need to know about the violin. In addition to the video, there are Google Slides to help you learn more about the violin. The violin is a bowed stringed instrument. This is the bow. This is made of fiberglass. Some are made of wood. It's all personal preference once you get older. This part is made of horse's hair. They don't hurt the horse, they just give it a haircut. Then you put rosin on the hair and it makes the hair sticky. When you pull the bow across the hair, it makes a sound like this. Another fascinating thing about the violin is that it can be found in just about every culture around the world. Since the violin was created in about the 1500s, it's changed in shape, size, how many strings are even on it, and they didn't really standardize the shape of it until about the 1800s, and now it looks like this. The strings are right here, which are held down by the tailpiece, and they're held down with the button. This end of the strings is held down by pegs, which help us tune the strings, the sound from the strings vibrates down here, goes into this here bridge, into the instrument through a sound post, which is a little bit skinnier than a pencil and about mm, that long. The vibrations go throughout the body and they come out of these F holes. They're called F holes because they just look like a cursive F. You don't always have to use the bow, you can pluck the strings. You can also play double stops. That's when you play more than one note at a time, which is really special to stringed instruments. You can also play slurs, which is when you play more than one note in one bow direction, like this. You can play off the string strokes like 
spiccato, which is where you brush and bounce against the string. You can play a style called ricochet, which is exactly what you think it would be. You can also do what's called a bariolage, which is like ricochet, but over all four or three strings. You can also do harmonics which is when you only touch the string, not push it all the way down. And it makes a really, really high-pitched sound as well. I am going to show you how to make a beginner violin that will give you an idea of what it's like to hold it, put your fingers down, and use the bow as well. I know it doesn't make sounds, but this is the second best thing. All you would need is some tape, a box of macaroni or something similar, a ruler, and let's not forget a kitchen utensil. Step one, you're going to tape the ruler to the box so six inches are hanging off the skinny end of the box. After that, you're going to place the beginner violin over your head, a little to your left, down on your shoulder, and you're gonna rest your chin right on the edge of the box. After that, you're going to pick up the spoon using only your middle two fingers and your thumb. And then your other fingers will just relax. You're going to put your left hand on the ruler. And then we're going to play. I'm going to use my violin. And if you have a violin at home, you can use that. Or you can play along with our beginner violin. Are you ready to play and sing Boil Em Cabbage Down with me? Off we go. Boil them cabbage down, down, bake them biscuits brown, brown. Only tune I ever did know was boil them cabbage down.